What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to find niches and how to find profitable niches. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you a real simple method on how to find niches and how to actually find profitable niches. Now, what I'm about to share with you, I have actually shared in the past on the channel, but I thought I'd make another video just so you can get a grasp of the idea of finding niches. Because once you understand how to find niches, you can find them absolutely everywhere. And I mean absolutely everywhere. So what are we going to need for this? We're going to need a few different things. We'd need Amazon, because we're going to use the search bar. We're going to need SPTs, Chrome extension. This is the niche score Chrome extension, which helps you find profitable niches. We're going to need Google and AMS suggestion expander. And they're the only things we're going to need. Now, there's lots of different ways that you can find niches. This is just one way. There's loads of different softwares that you can use as well. I like to use Helium 10. I'll try and link a video right there in the right hand corner. If you want to go and watch a different video, on how to find niches, I believe, using Helium 10. So I'll link that right there in the right-hand corner. But for this video, we're not going to use that. We're going to do this practically for free. Now, first thing that I've gone ahead and done is just typed in toddler coloring book, because what I want to do is go through this first page to see if there's any niches that stand out. So we're going to do that first, and then I'm going to share with you just how to use Google to find niches, and then how to see if there's actual demand for those niches to see if you want to actually publish a book in those niches. So right off the bat, let's go through page one and see if there's anything that stands out to us. And right off the bat, I can see multiple different niches. So these four books just here, let's scroll down a little bit, right here. So we got Fun with numbers, letters, shapes, colours and animals. So each one of those are a niche. So let me get a notepad. So we have numbers. Then we have letters, colours and animals. So there's a bunch of niches right away, just from looking at this one book. Now, this video is all about finding niches for colouring books, but the same principles which I'm about to show you can work well for composition notebooks, standard notebooks, and just finding niches in general. So, like I said right off the bat, we now have four different niches. Maybe not colours, so let's take that one away, but numbers and letters, so a number colouring book, a letter colouring book, an animal colouring book, these are all different types of niches, and we've got that just from this one book. Now here, we can see another animal, so these two, top two, no, in the top three results, these top two are all about animals, so that's telling me that animals is pretty popular, and within animals, you have lots of different niches. So right here, we can see a snake. So potentially a snake um, colouring book. Maybe that's a niche that people are searching. So let's put snake. And then what else do we have? Let's just move that over to there. We got owls. So owl. Then we have a cat. Then we have a lion or a tiger, a crab. And then we also have a dolphin. So these are all different types of niches that you can actually create your books around if there's people searching for that. And we'll take a look at that in a second. But I can keep going through this first page and see what niches stand out. So this one over here, we've already done animals. There's more animals on here, which we could write down. Or we could do another method, which I'm about to show you in just a second. But on here, vehicle. So that's another niche, vehicles. So let's do that. V V, yeah, cool. I think I spelled that wrong, but you get the idea. Now let's keep going through this first page. So right off the bat, we got more animal stuff, and then more numbers and letters. 
toddler. So toddler is a niche kind of in itself because you can do all these different age ranges for different types of coloring books as well. So we could write that down. Then we got more here, more animals, more vehicles. More animals again, and animals. So it seems like animals are very, very popular. Then we got unicorns, so that could be another niche. So unicorn. So another niche right there. And again, I'll just keep going through this first page and seeing what niches stand out. So we got dinosaurs here, we got sharks, we got insects. So that's an insect, that's a snail, so possibly that as well. So just by doing this, you can get loads and loads of ideas for lots of different niches. And you can type any keyword that you want up in the search bar just here to find those niches. Now, if you want more niches, lots of different types of niches, then come and check out the LCB Vault. We have a lot of cool stuff in here now. We also have four different courses. So that's the LCB Vault, Kids LCB, Simple Coloring Books, and Q4 Profits, as we can see just here. And we can see the ratings on the course is pretty cool as well. But if you want more niche research and lots of cool stuff, as we can see just here, then click that link down in the description below to come through and check it out. So, looking on the first page, this is a brilliant way just to find a bunch of different niches. But you can also just use Google. Now, I've spoken about this plenty of times on the channel, but a lot of people don't grasp this because I get a lot of people asking how to find niches, how to find profitable niches. Well, you've got to find all these niches first, like we're doing in this little notepad. Find all these niches first, and then we have to go back over to Amazon to see if there's actual demand for that type of book. This is something that most people aren't willing to do, and they just want all the niches given to them. Now, the more research you do on your own to find these niches, the more profitable ones you're going to find. Now, like I said, you can use Google, and you can type in list of animals, list of food, list of job titles, lists, lists, lists. This is how you can find lots of different niches because lots of different people have already done all of this work and put them into lists on their websites. So right here, we've got a list of birds, um, a list of birds, no, a list of animals. So we have birds, dogs, mammals, fish, cats, insects, bears, reptiles, frogs. These are all types of niches that you could create a coloring book around or around if people are actually searching for that type of book. So then in my list, I would go through, start writing down all these different types of animals. Then I could do that with food, if that's going to let me. Oh, no, let's do that again. Lists of foods, as we can see. And then we can click enter, find these niches, find all of these and then put them into that notepad, notepad, nope, notepad, and then we can go over to Amazon to actually see if there's demand. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's go back over to Amazon here. Let's take out that toddler, and let's just type in a bear. Bear coloring book. So there we go, one of the animals. We have bear coloring book, bear coloring book for kids, for adults. That one I'd stay away from. Bear coloring book for kids, great gift for boys. Bear coloring book for kids, ages four to eight. And we can do this, let's type bear there. We can do this with all these different niches which we've previously found. To see if these niches are profitable. Now, how do we do that? How do we actually see if they're profitable? Well, let's click on one of these. Let's do this. So let's click on that one if it's going to let me. Laptops playing up just a little tiny bit. There we go. Let's give that a second. In fact, I'm just going to pause the video so we can make this a little bit quicker. There we go. And we can see that this bear coloring book for kids ages four to eight is really, really not profitable, as we can see in this score just here. Now, with this score, SPT, that's self publishing titans, the Chrome extension, want you to find, look, if we look here, so they recommend finding a score of 60 and above, but you can also find some great niches with a score of in between 50 and 60. So a score of nine 
really isn't going to be a great niche for you to publish a book in. But now we can actually go through the rest of these niches, trying to find those really, really great keywords that we can use for creating our books. Now, each one of these, most of the time, have multiple different keywords, and that's why we use Am Suggestion Expander. So if we take off that four kids, just there, we can see. So right here, we have keywords before. This is Am's Suggestion Expander. It will pull up all the keywords before, all the keywords after, and all relevant keywords as we can see just here. So this is the same pretty much with all these different types of niches. You're going to get those multiple keywords. And then that's what takes the time, actually going through all of these and then checking the SPT Chrome extension score just here to try and find a really, really great niche. Now, how do you know when you found a great niche? Well, the score will look like this. So here's a niche that you might want to check out. This is a baby coloring book for a one year old. And if we look at this score, this is 65. There's 800 results, 4,000 reviews, a little bit high. So you'd have to look more into that. If we look here, we can see that the reviews are pretty high. But if we look just here as well, on this one, that's only got 19 reviews and it's on the first page. So that tells me there is potential for me to actually make sales within this niche. But this is what the score should look like. So when you're doing your niche research, filling out lists of niches like this, then go and do your research on Amazon just here to see if there's demand. This is what we're looking for, a high score. The higher, the better. But remember, the SPT Chrome extension says even a score in between 50 and 60 is a really, really great niche. So that's it. That's a really simple way how to find niches, how to find profitable niches as well. It just takes time. And that's what most people don't want to do. So the best thing to do is set a time, a certain block of time each and every week or each day if you have got that time, but have a specific day and a specific time frame to where you allocate that just to your niche research. Because once you've done your niche research, you can actually use that for months, for months. So that's what you should be doing. Anyway, actually, there's one more thing that I just want to cover really, really quick. Now let's just get rid of that right here. So this score, at the minute, at the time of recording this, this says 65. Now, depending on when you watch this video, whether it's tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, depending on when you watch this video will depend on what this score actually is. Because this score goes off so many different factors. It goes off the number of results, the reviews, the BSR, so many different types of factors. And with Amazon, these factors change every day. So there's new publishers, uh, publishers publishing books, and then those books are getting sales, which is going to change the average BSR, which in turn is going to change this niche score. So at the minute, at the time of recording this, it says 65, but in a week it could be 60, it could be 70, it could be 50. Just keep that in mind, knowing that this score will change. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.